Okay, let us. We're all set. We're all on. Excellent. Thank you. It is uh, seven o'clock, and I would like to call to order the Tilton Budget Committee, January fourteenth, two thousand and fifteen. All are present except for Mr. Bossy. Mr. Bossy called me. He will be unable to attend tonight. Um, he did leave a couple of pieces of information that I will share with the committee up front. He has re reviewed the request from Genesis and reviewed the request from the Pines. He would like us to consider that his, his opinion is no funding for Genesis at this point in time and it be level funding for the Pines as outlined in the Selectman's budget. Is that correct, Pat? It was flat. Level funded yeah. in 2013. 2013. So that was that's his import at this point in time. Okay, let us begin with first order of business meeting minutes. Let us review last week's meeting minutes and see if there's any additions, subtractions, or corrections. I found one small thing, but it's not something that we really have to do anything about I think it was an omission of a word or something but I don't know where it, where it was because I didn't John could I have that packet sure thank you John Yep. Question um, on page two. I guess would be the one, two, three, fourth paragraph. It says they try to have a clinician in each school district, and I didn't know if it should be noted that they currently do not have someone in the school. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I got ear infections in both ears. Oh, on page. I got the page. I got the two. paragraph. What was the correction? I I thought, and I this is just my recollection, but I thought that they said this says here that Genesis works with the schools and emergency personnel. They try to have a clinician in each school district, and I thought at the same time they said they they currently do not have anyone in the district, and I didn't know if that should be noted or not. Can add, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that, that too. Like, did they we, say for two years they haven't? Yeah. At this time they have none. Could we? Yeah, I just I just thought it should be noted that they because it sounds like they try to. And when I first read that, it made that's what made me question my memory. Okay. okay. So we, we add, how would you want that worded, sir? I don't know. I just <laughs> throw it out there. At this time they have none. Yeah, at this time they currently have no clinicians. Okay. In the school district. In the school district. <laughs> I can't find what I saw.
You see, hey, what's that? The, so you see, is that the, this is the American Health Care Act? Is, is it called ECA, the acronym for that? Is it? Yep. Yeah. Affordable Project. Care Act. Affordable Care Act, that's right. And um, I also added um, the increased um, Medicaid coverage in the state. So if we put the ACA and increased coverage for Medicaid, for Medicaid eligibility, that oh, I'm sorry, I should tell you where it is. Page four. Okay. Um, third, fourth paragraph down. It starts with Mr. Scanlon. Question if the. Affordable Care Act. Affordable Care Act, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Medicaid. My question just got answered once. So. awkward but I don't know how to change it so I'm going to skip it. Okay. Are we ready for a motion at this point in time? Make a motion to accept the minutes of January 7th as corrected. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are accepted. One, last, one other piece of house cleaning is we still have to vote on December 17th, 2014 meeting minutes. Does everyone have a copy of them? You should have gotten a copy of an email. That must be where I found them. Last week. Last week. Printed yeah. out. Right, we did not get a chance to go through them. Anyone need a copy? 
Then we get on January seventeenth. Uh, December seventeenth. Well, I have. I have. Yeah, December seventeenth. I had it too. I don't think I found any errors in that one. I have. I have it. Okay. Right here. Make a motion to accept the minutes of the 17th as written. I'll second it. Discussion. Hearing no further discussion, those ready to take a vote, those that want to accept the minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Minutes of December 17th, 2014 are accepted. I abstain from the vote. There okay, was... and we have an abstention from. Down at this side. This, I hate old age when your mind just starts to Mr. Brown. wander away, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine will be there some year. Um, okay, next, second, next piece of business. Jane, you've requested to go into a non public session. Would well, I think it's appropriate that we do so under 91A colon 3. Okay, and would you make a motion, please? Yes, because it, uh, <clears throat> I make a motion that we now go into non-public based on RSA 91A colon 3 because comments could adver adversely affect the public. The reputation. Right, the of reputation others. of the public or another person. Do we have a second? I, I will second that. that. Oh, John, John okay. can second? Yep. Oh, for this I need a show of hands. Please raise your hands if you... Roll call, I think. Roll call? Oh. Yeah. Okay, roll call. Jules. Yes, yay. Yes. John. Yes. 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 Roll call is, uh, not, is unanimous in its consent. Session? It is 726 and we are back in public session. Chair will entertain a motion to seal the minutes of the non public meeting. Is there so moved? So moved. So moved. Do I have a second? second. Like, should we identify for how long? They're forever. Well, you have to say permanently. I'll make a motion to make a, make a motion to seal the minutes of the non-public session permanently. Second. Okay. Moved and seconded. Discussion. Hearing no discussion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. So moved. Okay. Let us move on to the Pines Recreational Center. Well, there is a motion that's still on the table. From two weeks ago, where we tabled the meeting, tabled the motion. The motion was made by myself in regards to providing flat funding for the recreational center. Does the committee want to take that off the table to discuss? Uh, just one question. We never did we vote on that? No. We never voted no, on it. We never made it was, any decision, just straight. We table. tabled it and then we postponed it till this week. Well, I'll, I'll bring uh, the discussion on the Pines Community um, Center to the table for discussion. Okay. I second that. Okay. All of, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion is on the table. John, would you like to start the discussion? Um, No, I don't have too much to say. Uh, I, I, I'll make a motion that we funded uh, to the same amount as the selectmen, eleven funded to the um, Pines Rec. Yeah, but the motion, we have that motion right now. The motion was to flat fund it according to that I made that for the, to the selectmen to level. Call the question. I, I, I think the motion dies once it's been tabled, I think, right? So, yeah. Yeah, we so brought the motion back up. You have to remake the motion, or no? Oh, okay, I call the question. So, well, we'll give it a couple seconds here. Oh, okay. So we give it a couple second seconds. On that too, we? Well, 
Yes, there was a second on it too. Further discussion? On, on, the, on the level funding. On of level itself. funding. I have a, a couple pieces of opinion. Uh, you know, as we discussed, and I know that this is a hot topic in town because I support the Pine Center as much as anyone. You know, it, it's a great thing to have, but as much as you ask for reasons why of more funding, not really a good any clear answers as to why. You know. Um, well, you know, uh, my water heater might go in the building. Mm -hmm. well, so my water meter, he, my water heater might go. There's a lot of taxpayers mm -hmm. in this town who might go under because of a water heater. Um, and then just for forwarding with the discussion, how's your roof? How's the building? How's, you know, is there anything major that's, well, you know, it mu something might happen. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that there was no clear cut answer as to why funding needed to be raised specifically. Right. And just to be clear, the selectmen have approved 57500 and that's what we'd be looking at as, as flat funding. Um, John, again, John called me this afternoon and recommended that same 575 as what he would think was appropriate. Eric, any discussion? Oh. I'm, I'm okay with that. Jane. Well, I've heard nothing that would convince me to do any more than level fund it. Jules. I'm of the same opinion. Now we can get over here. Catherine. Oh, this is too easy tonight. Pat, I think we know at this point in time. All right, here we go further to John. I just, I think that what's going to have to happen is the, as what usually happens is the people who are truly interested will show up at the town meeting and bring it before the legislative body to hash it out public the public hearing and, and that's that's okay because that's that's the process yeah. Yeah. and I don't know if we've done our prod and they've done theirs any further discussion hearing none all those in favor of providing fifty seven thousand five hundred dollars as the selectmen approved as the funding for our portion of the funding for the Tilden Northfield Recreational Council Pines please signify by saying aye aye aye, aye. aye. those opposed Excellent eyes have it. Genesis is next on our agenda. John. Did we ever vote on that? Did we vote once on that? On um, which one? On the uh, Genesis? No. We just, we've been waiting till. Yeah, we vote, what we did was we voted not to see them originally, and then we allowed them to come in. We have not set any determination. Chair will entertain a motion as regards to funding for Genesis. Hearing that, I will make a motion that we fund Genesis at zero dollars, as recommended by the Board of Selectmen. Do I have a second? I second. Okay. Discussion. Uh, Eric. Maybe this should just be noted for next year, and I don't know if it's possible, but perhaps having the welfare director in this room at the same time as that they are here. John, could you talk to Heather about that? John, I think we'll talk to the selectman and and. But you can decide. The right. Yeah. Right. It it yeah. might be something that possibly if Genesis has some issues, can have the Eric? director with right. Genesis and the board of selectmen talk I about the problems we have. On the cell phone asking to uh, meet with me. Uh, I assume the board is like the, the girl with the car. Over at some point in time, um, uh, miscommunications and where they could better themselves in the council. That was the that was the end of the discussion. I had to call back. Pat, if that meeting is is public or open to us, could you inv well, I'm just, would you make sure that the budget committee is aware? So if we want to send a couple of representatives to sit and talk, at the same time maybe kill a couple of birds at one, with that one proverbial stone, mm -hmm. okay? Well, may not want to so Right, and I'm just saying, and I don't want to put words in Eric's mouth, but I think Eric is very, con is very cognizant of the, the confidentiality. So if we can work around things so that we get the better information to everyone's comfort level. 
Can I ask a question? Yes, you can. Have, we've brought up. I guess I like to see both sides of the story. And have we? Is there good things that they've done in the town? If you have the ability <laughs> to pay through insurance or cash, and you have the ability to pay, um, they, there are some success stories. Okay. The problem is if you have the inability to pay and you heard them, they will assess you in the emergency room right. and you can have up to six visits, not always with the same person, and typically not with a psychiatrist. Yeah. Well, my question last week to her kind of reflected that because you, you guys had brought up an example. I think you brought up an example, and she had an example, and I kind of read in between. I made my own judgment on that, but I just, just so it basically, if you don't have the means, which you know is quite a bit in this area, unfortunately, then you fall through the cracks and you just, you know, just go down the line. I think, unfortunately, when this their focus was a lot on, um, if you would, um, hardcore mental illness. And there's a lot of um, depression out there. There's a lot of illnesses out there. That's not true. There's a lot of senior issues that are not necessarily categor categorized as mental Ill illnesses. And there's other issues, family issues that are, and they didn't really they didn't really expound on that, even though our questions opened the door for that. They didn't expound on that. All they wanted to talk about was the lady with her son and, and, and trying to be the success story that he was and um, or he is, and, and that is a you know a very hard uh, mental illness case, if you would. In mm -hmm. years, it's. A, it's a, a long period of time, and there are people that go through trauma in short term, uh, that need short term help, that they could have done a lot of expanding on. They go through the police department or welfare department, and they didn't, they didn't do any of that. Those are the people that aren't getting helped right now. Thank you. I would put in this point from uh, from John. Again, who put in? He actually he recommended zero funding for Genesis at this point. So at least we have a record that he put his input in. Further discussion, Jane. Yes, right I. I heard them say uh, in the meeting last week that they got thirty. I think the number was thirty-four thousand dollars from the county. Um, and I called Johanna and she didn't remember that, but I did a little digging on my own and I happened to have a friend who's on the delegation for the commission and I called him, he's the deputy for the commissioners, and um, I asked him if they gave any funding to Genesis. And he said, well, he wasn't, he, he just got elected, so he, he wasn't sure, but he said, I'll get back to you, and you, I think, got a copy of it, too. From Brian, yes. And um, this is what he said. Um, From my 12-11-2014 county budget, there is $34,200 in the county budget for Genesis. The former commissioners... I uh, also recommended 34200 for the year 2015. So anyway, they, they, I don't know how they voted. I tried to get him today to see how they voted. But what I do have is I went on their website and I have the budgets for 2012, 13, and 2014. And they have special outside services. And the only two that they fund our CAP, and it's the weatherization program for CAP that they fund, and Genesis, and it's the emergency services for Genesis that they fund, which is what the plea from Genesis was to us as they do so much in emergency services. But in 2012, those two entities received $150,105. In 2013, they received, um, let's see, where is it? 
um, $106,105. And the recommendation for 2000, uh, I'm sorry, that's the recommendation for 2000, no, that's 2013. For 2014, they received $106,105. So our taxpayers are already contributing to Genesis through the county. So I think for us to, for them, for them to expect the town to further fund them when our taxpayers are already meeting their burden to them uh, is unnecessary. So for that reason, I say zero. Stan. I just a comment of my own personal opinion on it is it's it's very difficult because it's a very important piece of our town. You know, mental illness is now being more recognized and being more accepted, and it's it, the numbers are going up not just because of you know soldiers are going to come up, seniors are going to start you know, a higher senior population, people are going to be more of aware of it. And I just wish that my research found more positive on Genesis and how it's better for the people of Tilton and the, the residents and how it, not just, you know, welfare-wise, you know, the welfare, the well-being of our citizens, but financially, you know, uh, how it saves on here and how it saves on there. And I just hope that we could find in the next year a little bit better opinion of how they help the town. And maybe some of that will come if because the, it's the very important. Of, the board of selectmen meet with Maggie Pritchard and we can come to some kind of some kind of conversation because that seems to be what's missing right now is is a conversation. And that's not a problem. Let me go over here first and then we'll go over here. Well just to address that um the other agencies, like Child and Family Services that the town does buy services from, they have mental health um, people who will serve as families and whatnot. And they don't have the same constrictions that Genesis does. So within the entities that we do fund, even CAP has some, there are some other agencies that provide services. More services than Genesis provides those who are unable to pay. Which is why we buy the services from these entities. John. I think one of the troubling things is that Genesis is the sole provider assigned to us. Well, they, they received the state, to, uh, they're assigned to this area. They are the catch, and we're in their catch area. Um, and what I, I really would like to see, and I brought up before, is more community outreach, not waiting till the police department call up and say, hey, can you do a training? Call the police department and say, we need to go and have a training so you can deal with our clients and how to communicate with us mm -hmm. on our clients and doing more of that outreach, get to the schools and things like that. It's really hard not to fund them because <coughs> we do need to have that service. But, um, we just don't have that community outreach part yet, and I would hope that this year might be a, possibly a year of mending and maybe people can get together. And also, I'm concerned that the numbers aren't as accurate because of the Affordable Health Care Act and the Medicaid that, that's going to cover a lot of people that were not getting paid before. So I, but, Jules. Um, basically what Jane said, and <laughs> You know, that's a big, big point that we're already uh, getting, get, the, the county's already contributing, and that wasn't brought up at all. Um, if the county's, that's a very big point. Voters should know that, and I think if they knew that. And uh, to reiterate um, what was said about the Tilton police preferring to use the hospital, I mean, the product is more consistent down there. It's probably could be more professional, more accessible. So I'm going to have to go with, you know, the level funding. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the zero funding. Yeah, we can come full circle. We took the end. Did you say 34 2? 
Is that what the number you said was? I believe so, yeah. yeah. That's, well, that's what, that's what uh, I was told by the Yeah, I just pulled it deputy, up on, this, yes. on the county website, yeah. and it says Genesis Counseling, and I'm assuming that's the same thing. Yes, it is. Okay. Good. Sorry. Further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor of the motion to fund Genesis at zero dollars, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Nay? None. Okay, motion is passed. A favorite time of the year. Discussion of the operating budget. Now, we do not have John tonight. John, what are we? John Bossy. John Bossy. Do we have the other John here? Question, John, you're the, the expert on schedules. How much time do we have left before we start running into guys, into those wonderful parameters set by the state? We have to have that ready for the um, public hearing. And that's by when? 28. The 28th. 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 So we have this meeting and next meeting in order to finalize our presentation. Okay? Hmm. Just say yes to what? Make a motion to accept. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so as we're going to go on, good try. Okay. Just to check, Catherine's going to check for us. It's here. It's right in this right here. Oh, look, we got this. We've got it, Catherine. It's right here. I'm Oh, she wants to play with those. Okay. All right, good. All right. So, my, there are two things we need to talk about. One, John is not with us tonight. We can hold off till next week and do it all in one setting. Or if we are comfortable, we can begin the process tonight. And John can join us next week. And continue on. What is the wish of the committee? It's immaterial to me. What's it's immaterial to me. Yeah. Whatever. John? Either way. <coughs> Bush. Um I mean, we can go through it, can always get tweaked again. Mm hmm Okay. I need to stand. Just like right there. Bless you to him when he mm. sneezed. Yeah, don't let him sneeze. <laughs> Do you have a preference? Eric. I, I mean, I think I don't think we're not we're not going to vote on it tonight. We're going to discuss and look at any possible changes. Okay. All those changes can be reviewed next week. Okay. And we can take a look at whether we want to finalize everything next week. Given what's going on, is there is there a way to oh. get from, as um, now that because I think when he sent this to us he hadn't put in all the final December numbers, so we looked this one. Yeah, we looked. It was, it was like through December seventeenth or something. Mm -hmm. I'd just be curious to see how we ended some budget things because I was looking at this. Spent some time looking at this. <laughs> Okay. I can see. I can. I can so my suggestion is we work ten or fifteen minutes tonight with any outstanding questions we have. Mm -hmm. Finalize everything. They make that the one agenda item for next week, and do the sweep right through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the other one is procedurally. How do we want to advance? We have gone line by line on occasion, and we have gone department by department on occasion. What is the preference of the? And then there's the third way, which is the selectmen say just vote yes and let the budget go through. Well, we could look at the notable changes <laughs> by the departments too. Yes, and that, I'm saying that. So procedurally, I want to make sure that we we all get the same budget that we're working from here. Okay, I have in my hand proposed 2015 operating budget, December 17th, 2014. Do you have that one, John? That's what we have. I think that's what we all have. Jules, you have one. Well, do you have one? I have one on here, but it's too small. What's, what's the date that that one out? Do you want to just look at this one? Right I here? think Joanna has them over there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What was the date that, um, that was sent out to us? 17th of January. 17th. We have December 17th, 2014. That was given out. It's the last week of the week before. 
the week before. Week before. Yeah. That was, was the operating email. budget as it came through the Board of Selectmen. Which department are we looking at? We haven't got that far yet. We haven't gotten that far. We're <laughs> deciding about what procedure we want to go through. I, I liked it last year when we did department by department. I like that there's notable changes. I like how he's setting these up. Um, I, I like how we go department by department and then I liked it last year. Okay. I think what we could also do this year is a lot of us, when John's not here, is get our questions out, and that'll generate more questions for next week. So Absolutely. if John and everyone is here next week, we could really... The, the, um, the two noticeable differences in land use and town foot tax collector uh, uh, land use is going from uh, our time to full time. time. That's the major change in land use uh, department and then town clerk tax collector the major difference is that she cannot we cannot give her a merit which is in a separate pool she has to put in for a wage increase for herself and that is voted on a town meeting so that's the increase in the uh, town clerk tax collectors right. budget the rest is pretty much uh, level as far as the town clerk Tax collector's budget and land use. Question on that. Sorry. So it's just because you have it right, right there. Can we come back and say that she should only get, I'm just throwing a, a different, a lower number? Yes. We can see whatever we want. They can recommend anything. They can go back and tell the taxpayers if you vote on um, a number, regardless of what it is, let's say land use, yeah. uh, for printing, if you recommend. Uh, 400 instead of 500, it's going to be a column right. budget committee. That's what's going right. to show that you recommend that number. And at the town meeting, that's going to be the number they're going to vote on unless they right. change it. Well, whatever we number we, whatever, if, whatever numbers we put in there, they're going to vote on it. Right. They're going to, at town meeting, they're going to vote on the bottom line budget. They're going to be handed out the budget here. Right. Right. But they're going to vote on the in, in the warrant article, the last warrant article of uh, the night will Here's be the, the amount of the budget that's proposed. Right. And they can amend. Changes, right? They can amend anything they, they would like. That and during the, the exactly. Right. Right. But right here, if you recommend a certain amount, that's what's in that final number. Right. right. Okay. So if, we, if we, right now it's about sixty thousand. If we were to recommend fifty thousand, that would be our recommendation to the legislative body, who then has the option of saying yay or no. We're going to um, change it. They can bring it up to amend it before they right. get to the yeah. So, uh, yeah. No problem. Okay, Jane. For what's the first section? Well, I guess we can just start with how how it's listed for the administration. The administration, yeah. Okay. Any questions on administration? Eric, what's what's up with merit race pool? Two and a half percent. Right, but we haven't it haven't budgeted for it in the last three years. No, we have, but what happens in this, uh, once it's dispersed, it doesn't show up on the merit pool line anymore. It shows up on the individual department now. As oh, all right, so I get that, okay. Because it's dispersed. All right. Right. I just like, oh, all of a sudden, we're going to give up. Right. All right. I just thought it was in there before, and then all of a sudden. Yeah, right. And then he just moved all the lines just before, like, uh, November, October, November, I think. But, yeah. yeah. Catherine just handed me the document. Friday, February 13, 2015 is the last day to hold at least one public hearing on annual budget. Okay. And we have a we have January 28th and February 11th. Right. So we're in yeah. fine. We shape. could actually change it on the 11th. Right. We just have to. Yeah. Right. Good. Good. John, you look like you had a question. No, I I probably have. Answers if you can. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> there we go. I mean, I've been through this. I w I w I w I, I've really taken know. some time and, yeah, and gone answer. line by line through the whole budget mm -hmm. and just. And I guess I had more questions, um, but. And uh, so just looking for clarification, on the administrative equipment purchase, um, which is line three seventy five. Uh, 
the department requested thirty seven hundred, but the selectman approved one hundred dollars, and I was just looking for what the difference. Of what give you something to play with. <laughs> Um, machine, a new posting machine that also did uh, stuffing and folding, which was about uh, 35 years. Okay. <laughs> just, I, just, I'm just, I was just looking at differences and. Yeah. Um, you, you will see that there is a difference in the selection system because Captain is retiring this year. I might be able to answer a lot of the questions. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a shot at it. Sorry, John. I will, I'll, we'll I'll be referring to you a lot, though. She's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah, I, know, I know. We're <laughs> used to. <laughs> All right. Now sorry. I, I'll I, I think way. I got this. Go Some of these down. I'm grafted to find out. Say no, sir. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you Pat. Go ahead. Good job of hiding that thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my other question is. <laughs> Um, and this is where we don't have a complete budget from 2014, but how close did we come to the 68000 for town health insurance? The health insurance. Oh, the actual amount? That, uh, well, it, we budgeted 72000 which is an increase over the budget of forty. Of, of 2014, which was 68,000, but according to the budget we've had, they've only spent 57,000. Let's see which one we have. It's at the top of because page. Because it wasn't the full year when this was done. Tell right, so on page four. Uh, top of page four, first line. Town hall health insurance. Two more at the 68. This budget says we were, we've expended fifty-seven thousand, which would leave eleven thousand. I was just curious, how close did we come to that it's, number? That figure is very accurate for um, what we're going to get, or what it's actually going to cost us at the end, because we can't really control that. We know what the premiums are; they don't change them during the year. So, um, and we could take a look at what it was actually spent, but I'd say it's. Well, the only, well, I mean, when you say that, I mean, in all the, the three previous years, we, we've never come close to really spending <coughs> what we budget. We've always had a, a difference in there. So I think some of in the previous years? The whole line, the yeah. top line. Would that be because we had people that were, people were out? Or Going, yeah. It's, uh, you have to leave a little bit of room because if there is a significant event in somebody's life and they change from a one person to a two person, yeah. then you have to have that money in the budget in order to do that. Uh, in the last couple of years, we've had a few that have gone from um, buyouts to family plan but in, in, in vice versa. So that's why you have a, uh, a difference. It also pretty. reflects diary being full-time. Right. Land use person being full-time and that we're having somebody, we're going to be hiring somebody else for the administrative assistant position. Well, there's a couple of positions so that are changing. We have to plan a worst-case scenario with the family. Okay. If somebody gets married, yeah. that can impact it. It opens it. Somebody has a baby, that yes, can impact it. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. question, Jared? But that wouldn't affect it until the next year. Because you just said it doesn't change. This it, past maybe. year we had changes. Yeah. So uh, events that happened in they changed insurances. Um, you know, a child was born, they went to family, from one person to family, or they. So you have to have that room. But that's just for employees so that are. Much. It's for, you know, it's and that's just for employees that are in town hall, correct? That's not all town employees in that that's category. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And we're not. We're not. We, John, I have a question. Um, the town hall maintenance and repairs, the department requested 25, but the selectmen approved 33. Was there something found that the department didn't know about? There's um, a couple of things that are going to be going on town hall this year. Um, 
One of the things, I, I think you've seen that carpet when you come in. That's been, we've been putting that off for many, many years and it's, it's pretty bad. Um, we're going to be taking care of that to um, replace the carpeting down there. Um, I think some of the other things are going on um, that haven't been encumbered. The roof is encumbered. Fixing that, the fixing the roof that's already encumbered. I don't think the encumbered is going to do that. Okay, so there's some repairs to the rubber membrane roof to make sure that it doesn't get mm -hmm. to a, a worse condition where that will have to be um, replaced. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other things that we've got in there. Well, I see it. repair concrete floor. That's what I was just asking. Was it things that the selectmen found that the department just didn't think of? And that's why no. selectmen raised it from what the department asked for? Um, well, was it, you yeah, see, basically, yeah, when we discussed it and got together with the department heads and, yep. you know, we brought up things that, you know, a lot of the department I just look at their departments. And, um, okay. these, like John said, these are these are maintenance items that we've been putting on. Well, I've been a selectman for six years, and I I know we've been putting them off for six years because something else gets in the way, and we don't get them get projects done. And the one thing is the carpet downstairs, the tinging of the windows, but we didn't come for that much. Um, front doors. The front doors, uh, having them refinished finally a proper way. Um, in uh, different items that they that need to be done. Um, and they put them off, put them off, put them off. And, and we said, you know, if you put them off for six years, and I know all of the Catherine can tell you that they've been put off a lot longer than six years, that sooner or later you're going to have one large. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got to start doing some of these right. repairs now. See, it tells all this right down in here anyway, so I don't know if you need to put some in there. We've got to start mm -hmm. doing something about that now. Mm -hmm. Good. Jules, you have a question? No, I was, um, the, the merit raise pool, um, That's a, is that an every three years thing? Or well, it's every year. Because uh, in 2012, uh, 2013, oh, did you, but, I no, guess I was, okay. Yeah. John's working on that, working on something yeah. already. Yeah, the, uh, I, I think you explained once um, yeah. that's already been given out, they move it into the department. Oh, okay, I guess it wasn't. So the, and then it's dispersed it together. From there. All right. Good. Eric, further questions? Not on that section. What's that? No, um, that section. Okay, good. Stan. The, the right below town hall maintenance and repair general building expenses, it says it did get, it was eliminated. That yeah, I just got. Yeah. It got sold. It got the building sold. got sold. Oh, I thought it was like general building. Yeah, we're here building this that building. Was the okay, we're paying for the only repairing it, maintaining it. Is the um, Grange building the same as Okay. So there's money that was moved into that line for just general building maintenance. Any more questions on administration? Okay. It is 8 o'clock tonight. It's 8 o'clock. I would recommend that we call for an adjournment for the, and work on the rest of the budget beginning the first thing beginning next week. If that is the wish of the committee. I would also recommend that we stay behind a couple of minutes in case Joanna needs to help us fill in some of the... I think I'll be okay. You'll be okay? Okay, well, I'm going to give you the opportunity. John? I, just before we go, yeah. there were a couple questions that, um, so that we could get the information on it. Um, and I realize that Cindy does a great job and she's requesting a raise, but it's always a heated topic at the town mm -hmm. meeting. So I would like to see how she based that amount on her raise, um, because it does say it's a 16.75, so, so that when we vote on it, we can defend our vote. So, yeah, and I think Kath, was it Catherine or Pat that you gave us a breakdown, Catherine did, uh, last week of the different 
Is it tax clerks across Cindy the state? Yeah, but we I think Cindy should it. provide that got, to us. We have it, yeah. Yeah. You may have that, John, if you'd like to take a look at it. Yeah. Did everybody get one? Jill, did you get it? No. And, and how does... Unless it was emailed. ...the space... You know, a 16. Yeah. You know, I mean, these are some of the numbers what the other towns can do. So she based it on just this? Uh, my understanding, but we'll certainly talk about it. We'll get some information. Yeah. Ask Cindy if she could just yeah. give us a synopsis yeah. and an idea on... Um, you write it in the email and we'll send it. We'll just give it to Cindy, okay? Yes. And then you'll get your specific question answered. Right. Which email was that on? It was yes. a handout that we had last week. They oh. handed it out last week. Um, I'm trying to think if there's Want anything else yeah. that we need information, ahead. just real real quick without details. No, it might even have one. Has John other. asked, uh, Eric asked if we could get um, an update the latest um, December Numbers. expenses to find out you know, what actually, actually was spent in December. We, we can try, we're working on revenues right now, but we can try to make sure. Good. John. John, do you have any other questions? I think that's, I mean, I've been through this a couple times, but. And if there is, John, I'm very synopsis, We can just yeah. send some emails out if there's anybody. Sounds good. And I can. Yeah. I would ask, yeah. though, from the budget committee that we don't forget to include the selectmen in those, those emails. Sometimes on occasion they kind of get out there so we can get as much information as possible for next week. Now, is there any further business before the Budget Committee at this point in time? Hearing none, the, the Chairman will entertain a motion for adjour adjournment before he loses the voice. Do I have a second? Second. Non-debatable. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Ayes have it. Now